Hello everyone, uh, this is Nate from Crypto College and today we're going to go over how to sort of leverage your portfolio on a 2x multiplier uh, while being decentralized and safe on the Cardano and ESC and Ethereum networks or pretty much any ERC token. So for Cardano we're going to go to Liquid Finance and we will select um, and we will notice that we have assets. So we have assets to supply and assets to borrow. Now, in order to first um, borrow against these assets, we need to supply them. So you can see I already have previous transactions going on. I'm going to select supply and we're going to do 500 ADA. So 500 ADA at the current time is $253. We get a supply APY, which is an APY for actually supplying to the protocol, which is at 3.58% right now. That is variable and that changes. Now, we will deposit it just like anything else, and we, we will get a Q ADA token as a deposit token, similar to what you would get on an LP. So once this transaction is processing, we will actually get, uh, well, this is the deposit, so we will actually see it manifest here in our total balance that we can supply. Now, remember, we're depositing 500, so the transaction was successful. Let's go ahead and reload. Now it says 7,500. So now that we have that additional 500, what we're going to do is we have a list of assets to borrow. Now I want to borrow Jed, which is a stable coin. We could do USDC, but the liquidity is not quite there yet. So let's borrow some Jed. We have 24,000 QADA as collateral. So if we select the max, it'll tell us that we can do $253. Right now there's current safety protocols in the system that you can shut off. but we get a notice here when I select the max. It says the minimum health factor is 1.3. Increase your collateral, decrease your borrow to disable the safe mode settings. So what this means is 1.3. So this means essentially we're depositing our collateral of ADA is 1.3 to the one jet we're doing. That means if ADA drops 30%, our loan will be liquidated and our collateral will be consumed. So we want a little bit more room than 30%. So let's go to 50%. So let's do 150 jet. So right there is 1.38. Um, that's okay, so 38% drop. I'm okay with ADA handling a 38% drop. So we're gonna do 150 jet tokens. So let's go ahead and borrow that 150 jet tokens. And when this arrives in our wallet, what we'll do is we will head over to MinSwap, just our Cardano Dex, and we're gonna buy some more ADA with it. So let's wait for this to process. So. This process is similar. And then what we'll do once that Jed, or I'm sorry, once that Jed hits our wallet and once we purchase the ADA, we'll come back over here to Liquid Finance, add more to the supply, and then we can take out another Jed loan in which we take the Jed loan, go over to MinSwap, sell it, buy more ADA, supply more ADA. And each time you do this, you essentially compound risk into what is essentially a manual version of leverage trading. So you're taking out a loan, buying an asset, taking that asset, which just so happens to be cash, buying more of the asset, you know, it's no different than if you were to take out money on a credit card, um, and then you use that money to buy USD, and then you take the USD to pay off the credit card, you know, um, except we have a unique situation where we can do this with two different assets. So let's go ahead and take it. So we'll now have 300 ADA, and for the simplicity of this video, we will stop there. So we're gonna get about 300 ADA and we put in initially 500. So we went from 500 ADA to now we have 800 ADA. So we've done about a 50, 60%. So we're at like a 1.6 margin or 1.6 leverage trade right here with what we have. Um, and we can keep doing it. Now I'm cutting in half every time I do this because I want that 30 to 50% health factor that that uh, ratio um, because that means like what we have previously is I have a 1.6 1.6 1 I turned 4,000 ADA into approximately 7,500 so I'm almost 2x in my ADA as far as what I've started with first what I'm ending with and I have a 1.63 health factor which means in order for this one to be liquidated I need a one point I need a 38 percent drop in ADA 66 69 63 now, if we do get, you know, a 25% drop and my health factor goes down, I can always go back in and add more ADA to my collateral to keep these afloat. Um, and so this is a good way to multiply your spot portfolio. And it doesn't just have to be on ADA. It can be on Aves, a really good if you want to use your MetaMask, your ERC20 tokens. 
Um, if you want to use your, they have Ethereum, they have Arbitrum, Avalanche, BNB, Polygon, Optimism, Harmony, Phantom, you know, they have them all. And so I've already done that here on a lot of my other wallets as well. So here I started with one Ethereum and I leveraged it up to 1.6. And then on BSC, I started with three, or I started with four BNB and I've leveraged it up to seven, right? So I've done this over and over. Um, there is a loan. You do have to pay an interest rate on all of these. So if you go over to, let's say liquid, it's about 20% APR. Okay. So this is every year you're gonna have to pay 20% interest, which is not good, but, um, it's, you know, it's decentralized. It's free. So same here. It's 21%. Let's go to my Ethereum. My Ethereum is 11% for my USDC. So yeah, it's, or, I'm sorry. That's the APY I receive for, for some tokens. This is the, the APY I have to pay. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good system. I recommend people do it. It's relatively low risk, you know, um, it's more risk than spot, but, uh, when you need a token to drop 50%, um, I think it it's, should be recommended that most people do this, at least uh, in the short term, to amplify their portfolio, especially after a massive dip we just crashed, that we just had.